All right, guys, I'm about to start working on this Jetta. You can see what kind of shape it's in. It looks horrible, really. Hasn't been washed in a while and it sits out here by the sprinklers, so I'm gonna have to handle that. Water spots all over it. So we shall see what I need to do, but I do want to mention that I will be washing with Ghost Rinseless Wash Solution. There's an ounce of product in that gallon of water. I've got a few towels in the bucket to get started. As you can see, the car is very dirty. So I'm gonna grab my drying towel and go to town with this thing. The plan is to wash clay bar, maybe do a light polish, and then I'll apply most likely some juice boost to this thing. So time to get started. I also will be doing that Mustang after the Jetta. So all right, this jet is all done. I got all the water spots off, all the nasty ones. I just removed those uh, by hand with a microfiber and some infinite cut. So paint looks good now. Even the trim looks really good. Got all those spots off. I dressed the tires with transform dressing, diluted 50-50 with water. They look amazing. So washed with Ghost, rinseless wash, and then clay barred with Ghost as well. Ghost is a product that doesn't leave any uh, residue behind, so it's not going to leave any protection behind. So you definitely want to follow it with something else. Uh, but at the same situation, it's not leaving protection behind, but it's also not going to take any off. So wash with Ghost, clay barred with Ghost as a lubricant. Then I applied some Juice Boost direct to paint. Boom, baby. Just walked around, sprayed every panel, wiped it in. Good solid quality protection. So on the interior, I didn't have to do much, vacuumed it out, cleaned the windows, hit the door jams. Uh, this was pretty dirty, so I hit it with Infinite Purpose Cleaner and cleaned that up. That mat was pretty stained. Infinite Purpose Cleaner straightened that right out as well. And that's it. Time to move on to the Mustang. All right, I'm about to add some Ghost to this gallon of water in this here bucket and I'm going to wash this 2016 Mustang GT it's pretty dirty nothing to it this is garage kept and not daily driven most of the time. So, gonna get on it. So I'm clay bar in this car, and as you can see, some, some kind of overspray all over this thing. It was really bad on the roof and on the uh, hood, but it's all over it. So, I always clay bar before I add any protection anyway, so it's a standard deal, but I just have to work a little bit harder to get all this overspray off. All right, I just went ahead and clay barred the top of the trunk right here, and it's pretty nasty. I don't know what that is, but it's gross. It's shaping up though, I'm almost done. All right guys, 
thanks for watching this video on the Jetta and the Mustang. She is complete. Wash, clay bar, and juice boost everywhere. Looks awesome. Clean the barrels, wheels, all of it. That again is transform dressing diluted 50-50 with water and applied with a foam applicator. Got the tips nice and clean. Reflections are amazing from Juice Boost. It's awesome stuff. Car looks good. There's the jet I did earlier. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products and my processes. Uh, also, check out detailjuice.com where you can find more information about my products, and that is where you would purchase them from. So if you've got questions for me, 813-846-4406. And that has been a 16 Ford Mustang GT and a 16 Volkswagen Jetta. All in a day's work. I wash clay sealed both of them, washed with ghost, clayed with my Japanese uh, ultra fine clay bar, removed overspray from the Mustang, and then both of them got juice boost on the ex the exterior. Uh, all the paint, all the glass, all the wheels. I uh, also did basic interiors on both of them. Just vacuumed them out, wiped them all down, hit the door jams, and all that fancy stuff. So thanks for watching guys. Have a wonderful day.